Peace, my name is Haven Bullets, and I'm not feeling good, but the stupidity has gone on long enough, and I feel like I need to speak on this. Um, the Black Authority has just exposed himself for like the a millionth time that he doesn't actually understand politics, and he doesn't know what he's talking about, because as you can see what he wrote, and you can see what Kamala Harris wrote. Well, so let's get into this. First, do not come here talking about how you feel about trans people or gay people don't do it don't do it now let's get into this Kamala wants to pass the Equality Act why is this important first of all passing the Equality Act basically just will amend a lot of the civil rights legislation that we already have because remember there is no protection for sexual orientation or gender identity at the federal level there is none we have protection based on where you cannot discriminate against people based on their race place of origin gender and in some cases age disability and religion but none for sexual orientation or gender identity she wants to pass this act into law so that protection will be there why is this important one it's important because Jason you're trying to compare you're trying to pretend as if Kamala is doing something special for one group while ignoring black people when black people are already protected by this by um, by civil rights legislation she's just trying to expand it this is programmatic legislation that will protect that will protect more people Black people are not losing out. You're you're making it seem as if black people are not protected at the federal level from discrimination. And she's just silent on that while trying to help pass laws that protect homosexuals and, and transgender people. Another thing that's problem um, problematic with, with this comparison that you're doing is, again, the legislation she's talking about it's programmatic it that does that will affect white people white gays Asian gays Native American gays black gays you're making it seem as if the LGBTQ community is like somehow it's it's a race this will affect them the people who love them and their allies for the better for their community. It's not the same again as black people who already have these protections. I forgot what point I'm up to, but I'm just gonna make the next point. What you're asking from her is client is clientism. You're asking for her to basically come out and say, hey, if, if black people, if you vote for me, I got a hundred billion dollars waiting for you. And just for you. That's what you're waiting for. And nobody gets that. You and you talking about people need to hold that hold these L's. Nobody gets that. Politicians, especially um people running for president, promote programmatic policies. You're asking for a clientistic policy. And this is why people keep telling you that nobody gets that, and then you keep confusing the programmatic with the with your client clientism agenda for black people they're two separate things I, I, I don't know I, I just don't get it how would you even compare these two things anyway and you thought that was a smart thing well anyway I'm in this video right here like share subscribe drop me a comment tell me what you think did I get it right did I get it wrong um, support the channel. Make sure you subscribe. I gotta say this again. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to all my channels because you know these guys are in crybaby mode and they're still flagging me. But I'm still here. And on that note, family, peace.